I want you to live to your most fullest potential because you, you can, and who's to say you can't? It's all about what you open your mind to and what you set your mind to and what you dedicate yourself to and a matter of discipline to get yourself to where you wanna go. What's going on guys? My name is Ashton, if you're new here. Um, I like to have water with me because it's soothing. No, it's not alcohol. No, it looks like it, but it's just a lime water, man. Come on, it's Thursday at like 3 p.m. I know it's Thursday, 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 but no, no, we ain't doing that around here. Anyways, uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of a social experiment. I was at the gym earlier today and I noticed this guy, he walked up to these lat pull down machines and you know, he walks up, he sets the weight and everything and he gets up there and he starts doing like this. And I don't know, I don't know about you, but I, I love people watching. I'm always like watching people's behavior to see if I can pick up on something. I don't know why it's just entertaining for me, but I see this guy, he comes up and he gets the lat pull down machine. He does his set <laughs> and boom, gets up and leaves. And that was it. And the first thing that came to my mind was I just watched this guy come and do this workout for one set and then he just left. I don't know if he continued to do this throughout his workout. I'm not meaning to bash on this guy by any means, but it just reminded me that there are some people who, when it comes to, let's just use gym as a metaphor because it's such an easy metaphor. There are people who go to the gym but they only do one set of each workout. And what they're not realizing is they're spreading themselves thin. And not only that, but they're absolutely wasting their time at the gym. I just think life is too short to half-ass everything. If you're going to the gym, you might as well give it your all while you're there, right? I, I, maybe I'm just crazy. But if you're going to the gym and you're trying to make a difference in your health, then you should give it your all. And that goes with everything in life. If you care about something, you should give it your all. You should at least give it a shot. You should at least say, you know, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to at least do three sets. Typically, you know, three to four workouts, um, sorry, three to four sets of each workout that you do is ideal. Otherwise, if you're just doing one of everything, you're spreading yourself thin and no progress is going to be made. My suggestion to prevent yourself from getting into that position where you're just walking up and doing one set of something. Build a habit of just aiming high. It, it, it'll only increase your chances, right? It'll only increase your chances of reaching your goals, reaching your body goals, reaching your financial goals, your health goals, all of it. It's all about just aiming high and being disciplined with it. Don't waste your time. There's no point for you to show up to the gym if you're not gonna at least give it your effort, like 100%. So educate yourself, educate yourself on what you're supposed to be doing or what you should do if you're trying to achieve this certain goal. Educate yourself and see what people are doing who are already at the position that you wanna be. At. People are spreading this knowledge all over the place. I want you to live to your most fullest potential because you, you can and who's to say you can't. It's all about what you open your mind to and what you set your mind to and what you dedicate yourself to and a matter of discipline to get yourself to where you want to go. I want all of you to, all of you watching, first of all, if you're watching this video, go ahead and like it if you're enjoying the message because that would greatly help me. But first of all, life is just a matter of building habits, right? We're habitual creatures. We want to do the same things over and over and over. And when we don't do those same things over and over, we feel out of the loop, right? Like just for example, you go on vacation for two weeks, you're out of your habitual loop. And yeah, you had a great time on this vacation, but you cannot wait to get back home, to just get back in the routine of things. Am I right or am I right? Maybe there's a few of you out there who's like, nah, I like completely saying, fuck it, let's get out of here and go to Cancun or something and just relax. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. <laughs> I just literally fucking dropped all the water all over me. <laughs> that water good though. I ain't even gonna lie. Anyways, build your habits, try to build good habits and just aim high. Aim high for yourself, for the people around you, for your future children, for the better of the world in and in itself. 
in and of itself. It's always hard for me to say because it's only gonna cre help create more healthy environments for everybody else to be inspired to fulfill their lives and their potential and so and so forth. You get my point. I hope nobody took this video as me just bashing that guy because that's the last thing that I wanted to do was just come on here and bash somebody that I saw at the gym. No, it was just a primal example. There are people in this world who just go through the motions and they're not aiming for anything. They're not even disciplined with things. Don't get sucked into that. Just don't. It's not the place to be. So I'll leave it at that. Before I hop out of here, I do want to, again, mention my newsletter that I've started recently. Every two weeks on Thursday at 9 a.m., I send out a newsletter and slowly been developing it as we go on. Now I've reached a point where I feel comfortable with the system that I have, and I think it really could benefit you anybody who's watching this video i think it could benefit you because the three things that i'm mainly talking about in these newsletters are self-development mindfulness and finances i just added the finances into it uh, probably because i've been just extremely inspired by creating new avenues of income uh, lately so i'm wanting to just really study more on that I was a finance major in college, wasn't very inspired by the time I was in college, and I shoot myself in the foot all the time for that because I could have applied the stuff that I was learning immediately, but I didn't, and you know, we make mistakes. The newsletter is me going in, doing my research on the topics of those three that I just mentioned, and sharing bits and pieces and bite-sized uh, pieces for you to be able to just read it every, thir every other Thursday consume it and maybe it'll just enlighten you to something new so if you're interested in that head to the description i'll make sure to leave the the link to that for you and just go ahead and sign up and feel free to leave like if you if you sign up receive the first newsletter you don't like it you're not gonna hurt my feelings i'm just doing it because i want to help you so i'm gonna try to sip this water without spilling it mm, that's what i meant to do and damn, that shit is good. There's my rant. Thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't yet, like the video, share the video to somebody you love who maybe needs to hear this message. And yeah, I love you so much for supporting, for all those new people out there watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. It means I did something right with the title and thumbnail, which is something I'm very rough at. So thank you for clicking on it. Stay safe out there. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.